Hi everyone, welcome to RC Pie again. Another exciting day for me, two in a row, because what have we got? Another delivery, another big box. Let's have a look what's inside. Okay, let's have a look in here. Start off with scissors, see how far these can take us. Far enough to get interested. There we go. Is it more or less bashed than the other one? That's quite a bash. But what have we got? We've got the MN. Does it say on here? MN 4x4 rock crawler. Have we got a model number? Off road tyre. American spelling. Can cope with that. That's okay. Linkage lights, linkage lights, okay. Lie battery, four wheel, metal frame, high strength shock, metal shaft. Doesn't even say what model it is. No one racing. Quite strange. Anything underneath? There we go. MN999. Looks like we've got the, the grey one. Right, so we'll look inside. A couple of bits of tape, nice and easy. never really like stuff that comes in packaging like this. But maybe we can use this polycarbonate to reinforce a body somewhere or other. Let's see, let's set this open. Let's see what we've got. Right, that looks like a USB charger. Look inside um, some sort of bracket, battery casing bracket, perhaps. It's very, very windy again. Uh, there's the charger, and uh, those look like hubcaps, an Allen key. that out of the way and we've got so like four channel feels okay oh got a thumb control on there that's nice to see for a bit of one-handed driving like that steering trim steering rate yes that's the power channel three a button channel four three position. Feels a bit cheap, but let's see what's in here. Oh, that's nice to see. USB charger and a Li-Ion battery for the transmitter. That is nice. Saves finding yet more AAs. So we'll put that there. Let's have a look at the car. So one thing I didn't know, but I do now, is this MN999 is a hard body. 
And you know, a lot of people have commented on it looking pretty geeky, pretty strange in the pictures. But honestly, it doesn't look bad. I think it's probably riding on wheels that are a bit too big. And this bumper, this section of the bumper just gives it a really funny face. I think without that on, if that bumper was changed for just a straight bar, I think that's going to look a lot better. But overall, I think if you scale the wheels down a little bit, which might be something to do in the near future, that's going to look all right. Feels a bit, a bit springy. Probably need some oil in those shocks. Um, has got a full interior. I don't know whether you can see in there, um, but there is a full interior in there. So that's quite nice. So that could be all painted up. Um, but honestly, I think it doesn't look as bad as people are saying, or even as, as I thought. Let's have a look under here. Um, metal links, metal drive shafts. Servo mounted really far forward there with that tie rod. Um, see all the light fittings, so it's all fully lit up as you'd expect. Uh, it looks like the body. How is the body mounting? We've got a couple of wing nuts here and a couple of wing nuts at the back. So whether it just mounts like that, but then there are some screws here in the side. Now what those hold in, I don't know whether those hold thing. Oh yeah, they're just they're holding the interior in place, these bottom screws. So I guess it is just those wing nuts. So maybe we can have a quick go at undoing those. Right, so it looks like they don't need taking off completely. It's just the body sits on those bolts. So we'll just loosen those. Looks a little bit fiddly. I wouldn't want to do this. It's not warm here, but I wouldn't want to do it when it's really cold. But I think they... I don't know. I've got different thoughts about this car whether it's going to be something to use as a chassis, something to use as a body, which which are the good bits, which are the ordinary bits. Right, so there's the, the wire up into the lighting unit. Um, motor in there. Looks like a, an Endura chassis it's looking like that we'll compare that to an Endura at some point um, but overall looks all right c-section steel rails as you'd expect um, quite long shocks on those but like I say they feel a bit a bit bouncy not terrible but not wonderful um, tiny little battery now that is, that's, I don't know whether I'd say a concern, but seems a bit strange, let's say that. So I think it's going to need a different way of doing this, because we've got the, I guess that's a combined, combined receiver and speed controller there. Um, so that's on what would be the battery tray normally pack would be going that way and um, so that's taking up the space which I guess is why they've put this small battery in here this is more like something that would come with an MN99 let's see what does it say a lie ion 7.4 volt lie ion yeah that's the same it's the same as the MN99 battery here's an MN99 just for comparison so that's the same battery as we get that would go under the hood. 
in there. So that's that's a bit disappointing and clearly isn't going to run this too long. I mean, you get on a standard MN99, you get about an hour out of one of those, but that ain't going to happen on a big boy like this. Um, now, it's I know this is supposed to have adjustable transmission, but I can't see can't see any other servo on here so that is a bit strange now there's a box here but that just looks like a receiver box and I can't see anything coming off that to suggest that that would house a servo for two-speed transmission so that is quite strange um, Quite confused there. Right, let's have a look at what it says on the box. Does it say anything about? Uh, right, so it's saying that the, on the box, it's saying that the channel four, this three position switch is throttle rate. So they are basically saying it is a single speed but then you can restrict it with those. So that's that's not very honest, I would say. You can't call that a, a three-speed car when all you're doing is restricting it, you're not changing the gearing. So that is, that is quite disappointing. Um, but, looks okay. Battery, battery side of things, bit of a concern. Seems a bit silly. Speed controller, although it's nice that they link up to these lighting units, that's not really going to be up to the job. Whether you can use lipos with that at all, I don't know. But something to find out. Um, on the plus side, this has only come in at about £150. Uh, which is what? That's about $220, $230, something like that, I think. Um, I'll put a link underneath as to where you can get these from. So if you want to get hold of one yourself, you can do. Um, just whilst it's got the body on, let's put the MN99, the very popular MN99, which I've put smaller wheels and so on. Have a look at my upgrade videos for this but quite a comparison. Tells you something is out with the scales though, because this is supposed to be one twelfth and this is supposed to be one tenth. Now that ain't right. Something is amiss. Um, the one tenth, the 999, I mean, that looks about right compared to some of the other crawlers. So yeah, I think the, I think the MN99 and all those Old MND 90s have been fibbing about their scale. They must be more like 1 16th, something like that. Would seem to make more sense. Right, well, at the first opportunity, we'll have to have a run of that. And we'll also compare it to the rescuer that we opened yesterday. We'll have a quick comparison in size and clearances and things with that and see what's what. So please don't forget to subscribe and watch out for the next stages with this and with the rescuer. Let's see what's what, see how they compare and see how they run. Thanks for watching. See you again on RC Pie.